probably already saw this, but just in case. This is Flirting 101. I think so. Oh. <laughs> just like a suggestion, I'd rather know about you as opposed to your ex-boyfriend. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, you're right, you know, you're right. Do you want me to show you where it is? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Go get that plumber. You think he likes me? He's in your love and romance corner right now. <laughs> <laughs> in Manhattan are always looking for ways to meet other singles. Dog owners have the advantage of sniffing each other out at the local dog park. I'm meeting my friend Ileana Douglas to get some tips on using dogs to find dates. Hey, hi there. This is so crazy. I've never been. You're a cat I'm person curious. among dog people. I know. I'm like, the, uh, I don't know what to do. People who have dogs are, are a little more friendly. What's his name? What's his name? Botsy? He's a big dog. He's like... He's really, really friendly. Very too friendly. Can I pet him? Yeah, yeah. Is he, oh, is he going to knock me over? Oh, he's going to bite me. I know. Cats don't do that. Really? I mean, I love I love dogs. They're really cute, but I'm always scared they're going to knock me over. But see, look at how he's like, he's very open. He's like, he wants to talk about his dog. I know, even the yeah. dog's like, come talk to me. <laughs> Dogs are better relationship people. Plus, like girls and cats. I mean, you know, you never hear about some old spinster with a bunch of dogs. You don't want to end up like as an old lady with a bunch of cats. I want to be an old lady with a guy. Hi there. Are you? Hi. Your beagle? My beagle. This is Lady. Up, lady? She's a cat person. I'm trying to convince her, you know, she's because she's moved to New York, that maybe she should borrow someone's dog. And Whenever I have my dog, people talk to me much more. And okay. you try to... It works sometimes. Yeah, it's be it a dog. It gets you out to the dog run, doesn't it? Yeah. See? You're still single. Single. You're still a cat person. I haven't quite convinced you, but you'll you'll borrow someone's dog, take it around, and then see what happens. Dog. Okay. Why don't borrow we just skip the middle, man? See? What is this? borrow your dog. Want to come and walk my dog? Give me a number. We'll talk. We'll walk my Sounds dog. good. It does. I can do that. Write your number on this one. Okay. Keep that one. You see? Yeah, it's like, it's like that easy. Yeah, I'll get a dog. <laughs> You know Ileana Douglas, right? We went to the dog park and we got at least one guy's number. We talked to all these cute people. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you got up? his number? He got my number. Oh, 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 he gave me his okay. card. Okay, good. And and people do, they just all talk to each other really easily. It's like when you're in a guitar store and everybody's just like, hey, where'd you get that guitar? What kind of guitar is that? But cute dogs, cute guys. And she called me today and she said, you know, I've got the surprise for you. You think she's going to send you a man? <laughs> Or is maybe, that going to be the surprise? Maybe I think so. Really she said one for Debbie and I. She doesn't know Three what Three men. Is. I'm so glad you guys are here because I don't know what it is. Surprise! You should get I'm like, ah! Run right after her. First of all, somebody who's really friendly and nice and is nice to my friends and is smart and clever and funny. Has a job, has a, a good job. Has a job. Good. Yeah, perhaps Jewish, Jewish. really bad or okay. not or not seriously something else. Okay. Somebody's a little taller than me. Okay. There's two different things. There's people who like cats. I mm -hmm. like when people like cats. Yeah. Um, but then there's people who act like cats. Yeah, like the whole I have to fetch them from underneath the sofa. <gasps> I don't want that. I need a dude yeah, who's really loyal, 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 who's really friendly, who's gregarious. To me, a dog is affectionate. You call it, it knows its name, it comes over right. and plays. A cat is selective with its affection. You know, for me, I can't date a cat man, like yeah. someone who's going to be 
sometimes around, I need to know that like if I if I like it, put myself out there, that you're gonna be affectionate right. back. Like I don't want right. to question that. I want a dog person. I want a dog yeah. from what you're saying. Yeah. I Do you want like, like you want the kind of man who's gonna like, you know, make a date and like, you know, plan a night for you and say, well, yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. That's not a cat person. No. 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 Do I get to keep you the yes. dog or the gift? Is you get to like keep the pup. Because <gasps> you're gonna need her for an event that we've planned for you. Kind of like a mixer, like a, okay. like a puppy mixer, where people, singles can go to meet other singles who, you know, have dogs. So I have to actually get going. But tonight oh, you're gonna be searching for what? A dog person. Yes. Outgoing, friendly. Oh, he's so excited. <laughs> she, it's a good oh, it's just a It's a girl. she. Maybe that's what this is partly about. Maybe it's like four dogs. And for people. Oh, I feel like I should pick her up to go down the stairs. I think yeah, you should. Yeah, it's a long way down from the little kitchen. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, oh there are lots where of dogs. Where is the coat check? Look at all the dogs. Oh, hey, I'm Lisa. Nice to meet you. This is my the sister Debbie, and I'm Lisa, and this is Stephanie. What's your name? Nice, you. nice to meet you. Lisa. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I want to put her down for a second. Put her down. I'm, I'm, Papa. I'm Lisa. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm not really a dog person. You have cats too? Yeah, me too. What do you have? What do you have? Well, I have a little calico cat. Oh, cute. Yeah. There's a guy over there. He's pretty cute. Which one? He went. I don't know where. He, no, I don't know where he went. He was um. It's like wearing a sweat jacket. Is is he wearing anything on top of it? Or um, yeah, he had like a jacket. Oh no, I saw him. No, there was really like a really cute guy. Oh, he's yeah, cute. His, his name is David. Oh, okay. Where is he? The guy's back. He's right over there. Scoot around so you can see. Okay, wait. So anyway, um, <laughs> is that like obvious? Oh, this is my sister Debbie. Debbie? Hi, her. Hi. 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 Stephanie, and this is the little dog, Gidget. Hey, Lisa, I, I didn't realize you're Lisa Loeb, right? Yes. I didn't realize that. I'm sorry. I, oh, I, please, it's okay. No, I'm, I'm actually a musician myself. Oh, really? Yeah. What do you do? I play guitar and I sing. You write or? Yes, I do. Oh, great. He's a musician. Like, I never meet musicians. And he's the only guy that doesn't have a dog. Well, he is cute. You have green eyes? I'm like, yeah, do I? Hazel? Yeah, they look green. They can look green in the light, yeah. I want green eyes. Yeah. So Yours are blue, right? Yes. Okay. Make him ask you for a, your number. You make him, I can't do that. He's just going to say something. No, he has not I think we should say you're going to go soon. I think we're going to be going soon, so I just wanted to say, it's nice to meet you. Well, it was very good to meet you, too, Lisa. Um, um, just give me the pen. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on one second. Let's do it in a casual way. You won't even know. It was nice to meet you guys. We're gonna get going. And I should get your number or something like that. Sure. Um. Are you um, in the city a lot? Um, my schedule's really crazy, but um, it was really good meeting you. Absolute pleasure. I need to go back with your music. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Good nice to meet you. Okay. Bye. Bye. That's fine. It wasn't weird at all. What do you okay, mean? What did you do? No, I just told him. You said goodbye, and then I did, basically I just asked him for his number. You asked him for his number? Yeah. Okay. I can't believe you got a cat guy's phone number at a dog party. But he's really cute. Ew, what dog do? Oh, yeah. God. Disgusting, you guys. I can't deal. Watch out. That is so not something we would ever do in LA. I know. Go to a, an <laughs> actual party for a dog. I can't tell if that guy was looking to date or not. He was there with some friends. He didn't have a dog. My sister's so annoyed that I got his number. I don't know if he's the love of my life. I, all I know is that now it's know. a challenge, and now I have to try to get him. Yeah, you know, I was almost wanted to talk to him more because he didn't, he wasn't super, I have that problem. It's like I want to make things work. You want to be the one to be able to draw them out. Right. You know? You're like, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. No, yeah. come here. I mean, no. how great come is it here. when a cat goes to sit yeah. on your lap as come opposed here. to anyone else's in the room? I know, like, it's true. That is deal. triumph, you know? Whereas with the dog, little Gidget, you're like, come here, Gidget. She's like, okay. Yeah. I think I should just call and just, you know, see. I say, why not? Hi, 
Hi, this is Lisa. I met you last night at the dog party, and I was just calling to say hey and um, and um, to see if what you know if you're going to be around the city anytime soon. Anyway, give me a call. Um, my cell number should come up on your caller ID. Okay. All right. Bye. Don't tell Debbie. I will. She's my be lips so are mad. so sealed. I am I, not I, going there. I wouldn't touch her with a ten foot pole. Coming up next on number one single. Oh my gosh. Hi. Man. Incredible. Oh, what is this? Can we keep walking? Oh. You're a busy guy. Do you have like tons of work? Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Hello? Sure. Hey. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, okay. So Dave, the cat guy from the dog party, called back. We made a date to check out some big cats. Really big cats. Oh, look, here it is. Oh, my gosh. That is incredible. He's, he's really... He's no Tony the Tiger. <gasps> look, he's coming right up. Oh, my gosh, let's go look at him. Hi. Hi. Incredible. Like, do you ever get that email where they tell you to pick your favorite animal? It's, it's like tiger, pig, sheep. There's two other ones, and tiger I always put first gotcha. out of all those animals, because I think, oh, they're furry and they're cute, but they're strong and everything. And then it tells you what personality traits that you have, because those are the animals that you like. Yeah. Like, I've in totally what order, have you that. done that? I've totally done that. Do you always that. put tiger first? Yes. Me too. Yeah, that's amazing. I was born in England. You were? Yeah, I went to this crazy, like, real private Christian school, and everything was, like, so, like, good and pure. And, like, was it really? And, yeah, it was amazing. I went to an all-girls school, but it wasn't religious. I mean, it was pretty prim and proper. Yeah. Sort of wore outfits like, like yeah. this. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. You haven't changed Similar. much. Right? I know, when you get older and then you're wearing the exact same clothes. Yeah. Um, but I switched out to side of Oxford uh -huh. for, you know, zoo boots. That's right. Oh, what is this? Can we keep walking? Oh. Hmm. Cell phones. Dog whistles for people. You're a busy guy. Do you have, like, tons of work or yeah. friends? Like I, I'm kind of like Dear Abby, you know? Oh, really? Yeah. You, people come to you for advice? Yeah. Uh, I'm a Libra. Characteristically, they describe you as being fair in, right. in discernment of other people's, like, scenarios right. and judgment. So you're a good advice giver. And Libra is good for writing music, I think, because at that point when you're editing yourself, when you're writing... Making the decisions about judgment. what you're gonna say and what you're not gonna say. Yeah. It's judgment. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hello? Check my phone too. Please. Hey, I'll be right back, okay? Okay, okay. Dear Dave, I was on a date with this guy who kept getting phone calls. Should I leave him here to be eaten by bears? Oh, hi, bear. Signed, Lisa. Your date. Um, I'm gonna have to, uh, kinda go. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but I hope that you had a good time. Oh, yeah, it was really fun. It was fun. I'm gonna stick around. Maybe I'll go look at the flamingos for a minute. Okay. Buy my niece something. Bye. Right. Take care. Okay, bye. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Dear Lisa, forget this guy. Signed, Lisa. Delicious and Lover's party was fun. Okay. Me, I met a special. Well, I don't know, special. It was a guy who was very cute. Okay. Uh, he doesn't have a dog, though. <laughs> the one guy I meet, he's a, sort of more of a cat person. Okay, his the goal number. was a dog person, but you know, he couldn't know. find one. It's all right. Because I have this other guy that I'm thinking of. Oh, really? Yeah, you're going to like him a lot. He's a little different. Us. Yeah. Not necessarily a dog guy. I don't know if he has dogs or anything, but he's, he's pedigree. For lack of a better word, he's a he's a little fancy, and I, and I like him a lot. He's a nice guy. Okay. He's gonna treat you really well and show you a really good date. Yeah, I would like somebody who treats me well. He's nice. I thought the leashes and lovers was a good idea, but let's move on to something a little more elevated. Okay, I'll try. Yeah. I'll try it. I'll try it. Okay. Just give him my number. I will. I will. I will. And thank and, uh, you for Gidget. She's so course, cute. Of course. Of course. We're gonna go inside and get. Okay. Up. But um, you have a great okay, day. Take care. Okay. Good to see you. Well, good to see you. Keep me posted. See you soon. Okay. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye, Gidget. Cute. 
So Jay's friend called me, and he sounds like quite the gentleman. His name is Cody Franchetti, and he's an Italian textile heir. That sounds good. Pumpkin tart. Hi. How are you doing? I'm Lisa. Nice to meet you. Class. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? How are you? Good. So being that this is an arranged date, yes. uh, I'm very curious to know what you have been told. Somebody said something about you being a textile heir. That's my family's business. I guess okay. that just means that I'm wealthy. Do you like food? I do. Me too. Good. But I eat a lot more than I drink. I don't drink either. You don't? I'm a scourge for my father because he's a winemaker and I don't drink at all. Well, we don't need to drink. Oh, we but I mean, we should have a sip. I love that we neither of us drink, but we're going to order wine. Well, it's, it's a matter of form, don't you think? Form and ritual. These things are meaningful. Too comfortable formality. That sounds horrible. Like a flannel corset. I have a drug problem. It's called dessert. I will watch over you. Thank you. Be my little angel. I will tempt you, but curb you. Thank you. How's that? That's a good perfect combination. That's beautiful. to be violent with these fancy dishes. Look at this Rice Krispie Treats. Mm. These don't look very good, actually. They look cheap. Should I try it? Yeah, it looks very cheap. I think this is pear. Look, meringue. You can eat this. It's just egg whites. You didn't eat any of it. No, I'm watching you. I don't like when other people don't eat. But I ate. I'm just not eating the desserts. And I'm enjoying this a great deal. There's a very amiable side of you that comes out in front of sweets. The child in you comes out. No, enough. Enough. Here. Uh, the fruit. A little fruit you can have. Thanks for having a heart, man. We need the help. I'm making a nice one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Please don't slide. Don't slide. I'm not sliding. Got it. Don't slide. Okay. Your car, your rules, Mr. Manners. so beautiful. I love this something that's functional, but it's art. I love chrome. You know, my, half of my house is all chrome. Really? I like reflective surfaces. Why? I don't know. Maybe because I like mirrors, <laughs> because I'm vain. But, but I was going to say, but I wasn't going to say. Oh, yeah. It's, it's true. But I think also just there's something about it. Liquid metal, there's something fascinating. You like pink? I love pink. I have a pink refrigerator. I like girls that like pink. Really? Yes. We like, I have Art Deco pink couches oh, wow. at my house. They're Art really? Deco. The wood is beautiful. It's the rounded uh, sides, you know. I think this conversation is becoming way too erotic for me. <laughs> a pink Art yes, Deco pink couch. Yes, pink Art Deco couches. I don't know if I can stand here. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you, too, and a nice car. Thank Beautiful. you. Beautiful. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Nice to meet you. This wasn't the tail-wagging, easy-to-read dog guy I was looking for. I guess that's what happens when you date a pedigree. It's that a good crossword? Um, yeah, I love it. It makes me feel smart. I'm still working on last Sundays. Is that embarrassing? You have some visitors. Hi. Hey. Flower delivery. Oh, Flower nice. Delivery. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thanks a lot. Take care. Hey, that's nice. Looks like you red roses. I don't know. Somebody who's very weird and romantic. <laughs> Had a great time at the zoo. I'd love to see you again. Give me a call. David. Who's David? That was the guy from the zoo who left after that phone call. I don't understand David and I from the dog party? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the 
dog at the door. Hi. Hi. Look at these beautiful roses. I just got them. Who is it It from? It is weird, Ileana. What? I got it from this guy who I didn't even know he he liked me. Do you want to put your tea bag? So what's his name? His name is David. Uh Uh-huh. Really, really cute. Wow. Where'd you meet him? I met him at that dog party that You're... Jay took us oh, to. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> but he didn't have a dog. He was just, you know, friends with people who did have dogs. He's uh-huh. more of a cat guy. He was I a cat. cat. His number. Nice. Right? Yeah. See, I say nice. My sister was freaked out. I'm going to so... sit at your little bar. Oh, yeah. Come, come around. He was pretty at the party, but he was smart at the zoo, and then he ended up leaving, and I thought... Uh, he really is a cat person. He's, I can't tell what he's feeling, and he's uh-huh. just... I thought maybe we were getting along, and then he left. And then there's that guy, Cody. Cody Franchetti. Cody Franchetti? Fancy pants. Isn't that a type of cheese? <laughs> yeah. It's like a... I don't know if he's a socialite or what you call him, but... Nice dinner. Yeah, he got a good nice dinner room. out of it. I'm still looking for chemistry. That's the problem. I haven't found chemistry yet. I guess that's what second dates are for. No. Mm, you know, it just... Mm. You find it on the first. You know what? Dogs and cats have one thing in common. They're not people. And while they might have figured out an easy way to mate, for people it's just more complicated. I guess that's what makes it so exciting.